you don't show them this, then you've got a situation, right? Because you have to show them something. Well, right? if you surender the name, then you're in trouble. Right. I produce this little thing for people who are still learning. When you get pulled over, all you need to do is hand your statement of birth and this card, which basically says, I am not legally qualified to trade in Ontario and Canada and hold no valid subsisting certificate of proficiency in your jurisdiction. If you are soliciting me in any way whatsoever, I hold no license to trade with you or exchange documents and instruments of value. But how many would get what you're saying with this? Oh, here's what I sent in. This is just a copy. I blacked out. I sent on the 19th of October. Yeah. I sent. I sent this, and I notarized it. Did you enter for travel or what is it? Oh no! I told you I discharged nine grand with Canada Revenue. Oh, this is it. I sent them uh, a certified true copy. Oh, here's here's the original. This is what I sent them, or a copy. I sent this and this letter and their original, their original notice statement. And basically, it says I, being the joint recipient of this valuable token, which is the birth certificate. And it is a valuable token to provide you a certified copy for your use. Find attached. I direct you to discharge this tax and duty immediately to settle this matter. That's it. May it require the original valuable token, Canada birth certificate, to discharge this tax and duty. Feel free to contact me in peace, love, and charity at the sanctuary noted below. And I gave my address. And then, here is the cool part. Persona non grata means of unknown jurisdiction. Please refer to certificate number when corresponding with respect to this certificate number. Right. What that means is, don't call me Mark. Right. Call me recipient of certificate. I said, well, they can call me this, but I can't use that name because that's a corporate fiction. Right. So call me this. Right. Because that's just as unique as this, yeah. even more unique. But you're saying that this doesn't fall under the same jurisdiction as the, na- the capitalized name? Oh, I'm recipient of certificate. Apparently not, certi- eh? That's yeah. what I called myself. I, sa- right. I said, please refer to certificate number. Okay. And then I said, with respect we'll to certificate number, the and then I right. signed it X, persona non grata, recipient <laughs> of certificate number. So she and witnessed she confirmed that. confirmed it as yeah. valid. I said, Marilyn, yeah. I want you to notarized that you saw me put my ex on this. Right, right. As soon as I got these documents. So she knows what you're doing though, obviously. She doesn't understand what no. I'm doing. Oh, okay. But she knows. Does it make a difference? As well, a- when she read the letter, before she notarized, she read it again. Yeah. And she looked at me and she said, I don't understand what you're doing here. And I said, Marilyn, you don't need to understand what I'm doing. You just need to notarize it, that right? you notarize, saw me do yeah. this. Absolutely. Yeah. And she read it again and she said, they're going to come after you for this money, you know. And I said, what are you talking about, Marilyn? There is no money. Exactly. Yeah. Is there a reason why it was done in red ink? Oh. Make a difference? Not really, I don't think. Okay. I just chose red. So that was, and I directed it to the Commissioner of Revenue, Chair of the Receiver General. That's the head office for Canada Revenue Agency. I discharged the debt. Now that's for income tax, we know student loans, mortgages, what about credit card debt? Oh, that's all fraud. Credit card, that's all fraud. All credit card contracts are invalid because the four requirements for a valid contract are not met. Full disclosure, equal consideration. There's not equal consideration. They're not giving you anything. Yeah. There's all, all money is loaned into existence. And by signing the application, you created the money that they provided you as credit. They didn't give you anything of theirs. Right. They gave you something you created. So why are you paying them back? It's fraud. (laughs) There's no full disclosure. Uh, Another requirement for a contract to be valid is uh, someone with signing authority from both parties. So it's got to be a bilateral contract. So next time you get a credit card statement, yeah, send them a nice letter saying I would love to settle this matter in full. However, first 
I require a copy of the original contract. 96 is your fix that Menard talks about? That's something I just discovered last That's week. All, 96 is your fix is needed. Yeah, That's, I saw the 96. On every yeah. bill I've seen, it's always I just a 96. I discovered that I last week. And, and um, that's Bank interesting. Oh. It's a voucher, it's a coupon. Exactly. What they're not telling you is that they're sending you the remedy. Can you actually discharge debt as the person? Do you actually have to I'm not a give it? No, no, I'm talking about my I'm a living soul. Everybody, everybody else, because we fall under this corporate jurisdiction, right? This corporation where in order for us to discharge debt, we'd have to first eliminate with the sin, right? No, I don't think so. No. I don't think so. I have a coffee, but then they were able to come after you and state that, uh, listen, you're still under our uh, jurisdiction. You're no, no more than a person, you're a corporation. Before I started doing anything uh, it, with the monetary system, the first thing I learned was that there's fraud going on here. And fraud negates consent. You can't consent to be engaged in fraud because by definition, fraud involves deceit. John, this one guy, he's been on this journey for 15 years. And every time he gets pulled over, he has he has so much grief with the cops because he tries to explain to the cops what's going on. And so when I told John about this incident I just have where I just showed him my statement of birth. There's about eight of us in this meeting and I said, John, I got pulled over. It was so cool. You want to hear what happened? He was like, yeah. So I told him the story I just told you. And he said, what's that you said? And I said, I'm ineligible for those benefits. And he just went, that's perfect. And it worked. I said, well, of course it worked. That's beautiful. So type that up. Write, write that down. Type that up.